he's going big to finish here. He wants to nail this first trick. This is solid strategy, getting two hits on the set. Coming back for it now. And puts it down. Oh, That's what a way to finish. Right inside the buzzer, making every second count in that 45 second run. Ali's got to feel good about that. A good way to recover. Tell me what you're thinking. You've got 15 seconds to go. You've missed that the first time. You're going back to get it the second. What's going through Ali's head when he's on top of those stairs? Ali's a veteran. He's skated many comps since birth. He knows exactly what he's in for. Rack him, stack him, go back and attack him. Let's get our next skater out. That's Taj Wolfenden. Yeah, Taj from Valentine in New South Wales. We saw him in the bowl last night. He actually finished second in the bowl. He's looking to double up on his silverware uh, from last night. This, he's only a young guy. Here he's coming. He's coming down the stairs as well. Yeah, going straight for that handrail. Again, if you start on the set, you might as well end on the set. It's all about getting the best score you can. And these guys are only skating runs. No best trick. Just stacking them up as much as they possibly can. This is a confident start. This is so clean. Yeah, he's looking good out there, locking into that rail, really solid on his feet. Still heaps of time left in this run. We saw Taj last night in the bowl. What's the difference here between the bowl into the skate park today? It's a completely different, different discipline. This is street skateboarding. So it's all about those flips, grinds, and getting it in. You can be technical or you can be heavy and dip in front smiths like that. I think we're leaning towards heavy. This is looking good. Three seconds to go. This is going to be a good first run score. Going for that kick flip, just missing out, but a solid run nonetheless. That was Taj Wolfenden. Our judges are just going to lock in their scores before the next skater comes out. We've got a three judge panel down here at the Sugar Bowl and they are calibrating hard. Let's get our next one out there. That's Jack Philip Meek. Lucas Byers has pulled out from this event. He will not be competing, but Jack Meek is our next skater up. Now, if you're Jack, you've just seen what uh, Ali has done. What are you backing that up with? It's go big or go home. This is the finals. So if you're not coming in heavy, you're probably not going to make it onto that podium. But hitting that back thieves down the A-frame rail is a good way to start things off. Young Jack trying to link tricks together. He's going backside, then frontside. It's that versatility using all obstacles on the park and switching it up. Not staying on the same thing, but using your whole bag of tricks. You've got to get the variety out there if you want to score high. And is that what we're looking for the judges here? They're looking for you to use the whole park. You've got plenty of tricks and obstacles out here that you can use. You need to use them all in your 45 seconds. This is a big stack of concrete poured around the sugar bowl. We've got 10 seconds left in this run and a backside flip going down on the hip. Jack Meek, getting this run together. Bringing it down to the wire though, three seconds. That was a good recovery, not a bad run. Blow the cobwebs out, still two runs to go. Exactly right, first of three, there is plenty skating left to come from Jack. And you hear that crowd is clapping him off, showing their support. Tasman Cahill next up in the skate park here in the Sugar Bowl of Mackay from Lennox Head in New South Wales. He's brought a cheer squad with him. We've seen them here today as well. We're meant to have Jack Lewis coming in next. A Little bit of a switch up on the order there. Jack Lewis coming in from the top of the set. Ollieing down that Euro to start. And Jack, one tough cookie. He injured his ankle earlier in the week, has been icing it non-stop around the clock just to get out onto this skate park today to skate in the street circuit. He will not die wondering. No, it's traditional that Jack will be skating in the opens because he is more than capable of it. But he is nursing an injury on one of his feet. So I don't think we might, uh, we won't see him hit the big set just for that self-preservation. I saw a photo of his ankle yesterday. He has got a, a bowling ball stuck in that ankle. So for him to be on the circuit today, this is one brave effort. Everyone else at the Sugar Bowls wearing that red skin from the sun, but Jack has purple ankles. <laughs> a lucky man full of swelling. Four seconds left in this run. Starting to clock out. That is Jack Lewis, first run out here at the Sugar Bowl. I called him before, got him warmed up nice and early. Tasman Cahill from Lennox Head in New South Wales. He's got his, he has got his fan club with him. He's going big early. Hell yeah, and he land. is. Going straight in for that lip slide, just getting hung up on the landing. If you're not coming out straight, you're probably going to come in too hot and heavy. You've really got to dial those tricks, especially when you start throwing it down the big set. But he's got a recovery happening right now. Getting that front board, then a front side 50-50 on the next ledge. 
and using the bo the bucket. If only you were a judge. <laughs> Bonus points for the bucket. Well, that's for me anyway. This is a sweet run. Missing that first jump hasn't deterred his confidence whatsoever. Again, all these young bloods out here skating 15 and unders, but veterans of competition. They know what they're in for. Tasman's got 10 seconds left on the course, lining up that last trick. Charging right up and boosting out to that lip slide. That was a gap from the kicker over the A-frame bar to the other side. His run has timed out, but that was included the a solid ender. The cheer squad liked that one as well. You've got to hype them up when they're out there. They're feeding off that energy off the crowd. Bringing that noise brings those bigger tricks. We've got one skater left in this list. That's Bodie Smith. Now, Bodie is a real trend. Oh, we've got a slow-mo coming back. There's that gap lit. Nicely done. Bodie Smith is our next uh, skater up on today from Adelaide. He was our 12 under winner last year. He could still be competing in the under 12s this year. He wants to step it up. He wants to compete with the big boys. Bodie wants to do more than just compete with the big boys. He wants to skate and speed dealers every day of his life. And he is not intimidated. He has come out strong. Yeah, I've seen him skate many competitions in the past, and Bodie can definitely hold his own. I think he'll be stepping up to skate in the opens very soon. Dipping that front smith on the bump to bar. I love how these young fellas aren't afraid to hit these rails. He's popping off the bank onto the A-frame rail, across, over, and down. We've got 13 seconds left on the clock, and he is looking to finish big and impress our three judges here today. There's that strategy again, going back for the big set to wrap up the run. Still has five seconds. He could get another trick in. And the front fitty just inside time. That is the way you throw down the goal into your competition. You say, here I am, come and get me. Bodie Smith out there setting the bar pretty high, not to be messed with, a serious contender of the day. So that was our first run through. That is one of three 45 second runs for our competitors. We're going back to the top of the list. And we see it now, you're taking your best score to the judges for the podium. So if you weren't happy with your round one score, you have a chance in your second run to better that one. Kicking us off in run number two is Yo from the Gold Coast. And starting off down that Euro into the Guilty Bank. And a 360 flip out of the next. So we like to see a variety of tricks, a couple new ones coming out. That board slide down the rail, linking it into a backside nose slide. And we're seeing using every inch of the street circuit here today. This is a stronger run than run one. Yeah, he's looking really confident on the board. A nice little kick flip after that back thieves. Using a different obstacle out here. We've got a brick bank that goes over the top of a little ledge. You can hit that a whole lot of different ways. He's got 10 seconds left in this run. A quick flip on the bank, heading back down. Nice front board, last few seconds. And the backside flip on the hip was inside time. We've got to call that run there. Yo, Wooty's second one done. We've got another little trendsetter that's going to be coming up soon. I'm so stoked to see these young bloods out here at the Sugar Bowl. Johnny Hill next up, 14 from Geelong, qualifying from WA Rumble. Currently in second spot as we speak. He's chasing Bodie down as we s in this run. Yeah, he's out there on the park. Just came off on his first ledge, but he's got heaps of time to recover. It's not so bad if you miss your first trick because you've got that whole run in front to get your flow back. And like that, the recovery's on. A back lift from the bump to bar. And that's that street-style skateboarding, getting these tricks in. Get the flips, grinds, combos if you can. You're breaking down your 45 seconds. Are you looking... For rails, are you looking for tricks? You're looking for combinations, looking for big air. What are you looking for? I want to see no push lines. If you start at one end of the park, hit the obstacles, end up at the other without pushing between, you've done well. That lift slide down with two seconds left. Oh, just hanging up. Those back wheels not quite coming over into that next bank. A solid run. Johnny Hill out there. He'll have the chance to slug some water, come back for the championship round and round number three. But when you've posted that big score in your first run, it just takes a little bit of pressure off you for the next two. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't, because you've got your score on, but it's time to upgrade. If you want to hold that position on the leaderboard, you've got to come out swinging and really just dominate, own that space. Speaking of someone who's about to try and dominate is Alistair Sliz. He's looking to make his way up that leaderboard. Was reasonably solid in run number one. He'll be looking to go better in run number two. Yeah, this is his time to shine. When the pressure's on, Ali comes out, and he's starting off with a big ollie down the nine. 
The confidence you get from leading that first trick, we saw Alistair miss that in run number one, picked it up in his last trick in run number two, but you get it together in run one first, uh, run two first trick, just sets you up for the rest of your 45 seconds. Yeah, it's all about holding that confidence, the momentum, and knowing that you've got this. But as a skater, you kind of know, as soon as you pop a trick, whether it's going to happen or not. He's still got plenty of time here, still 20 seconds left on the clock. What would you be looking from Alistair here? Well, he's positioned himself on that bank, so he's going to line up to hit either the ledges or rails on his way through. Ten seconds counting down. There's that front board, hits the rail, lining back up for the next. Nolly's in. And goes to kicking back fitty, not quite locking on, timing out his run there. Yeah, the crowd appreciating that one and the effort in run number two. The judges have a hard job laid out in front of them, trying to get fair scoring on all these skaters when they're just going back to back. And what I love, what you'll notice today as well, when you see the skaters come off after their run, these boys are competing against each other. They're competing for medals, they're competing for prize money and pride. But when they come off, you'll see the best sportsmanship you'll see in any sport when these guys come off congratulating each other or commiserating each other if someone hasn't stuck a trick. Taj Wolfenden about to get his own little slaps and taps when he wraps this up. He's going to come in with a heavy run, I'm sure. Going big first up. Starting it off right. Backside board slide down the nine stair handrail. And it's a pretty hefty rail out there. It is not small. It's straight off the streets, transplanted into a skate park. Starting to link those tricks together. Coming up for that front side, 50-50. And the bump to bar with the back feebs. He is looking so smooth. We saw him last night in the bowl. Looks just as adept on the street. Yeah, he's driven with confidence. Popping up onto that backside, 50-50. Locking in out of those banks onto that ledge. It actually takes a fair bit of precision. It doesn't quite line you up right. You've got to know what you're doing. Seven seconds left. Coming down to that nitty-gritty. Going for that kickflip. Wants the extra tricks. And that's time there on his run. The backside 180 after the buzzer won't be counted. Still one more run to go from Taj. I feel he's building for something strong in his third run. He was good in his first. Better again in his second. He's set up for prime for a third. It ain't over till it's over. Not till that fat lady sings. And I haven't seen her in the crowd yet. But... We've got Jack Meek about to step on up. Jack's one of these guys as well looking to climb that leaderboard. Currently in sixth spot, but he's not that far away from the guys on the podium. All it takes is one 45-second run, and you can get your way up there. And these boys have been practicing their, their lines the last couple of days down here at the Sugar Bowl, dialing in as much as they can. They probably landed these whole runs several times over, but it doesn't count until you're in the competition. It all comes down to this. We've been talking about the 45 seconds, and like you said, we've seen these guys all weekend. Are they coming out here with a set routine in mind, or are they just going, land that first trick, try and build momentum, and see what happens from there? No, nah, there is definitely a mentality in play. Jack has 15 seconds left in this run, and he knows exactly what tricks he's going for. It's about dialing in your lines and making sure you get it in time. You've got 45 seconds to rack these tricks, and you want to get as many as you can. That is going to time out. Jack Meek, second run there. He's going to come back shortly and see if he can get that whole line together. Again, judges having a hard time. We saw it last night in the bowl competition, just how crucial that third round is, the third run is, because we saw it last night twice, where the third run, the second last run in the third run, ended up knocking off the gold medal position. No prophecies have been written here. It's all about what they bring on the day, and you never know who's going to take it out. You're either hot or you're not, but Jack Lewis is going to step up next. And again... Going big, they've heard the call from you, Theo. All looking to impress. Jack starting it off with a big ollie, boosting right out over the flat bar from the bank and linking it in. Doubling up on those front side 50-50s, first on a rail, then on a ledge. See how he's out there using all the obstacles, flowing around, drawing different lines. That was a backsmith. That's a really technical trick to be pulling on a bar. And we've spoken about this before. He's doing it with one ankle. One colourful purple ankle. Jack's been nursing it for a couple of days now. Still got time, Jack. Still 10 seconds to recover. Pop out those last tricks, impress these judges. This has been a pretty solid run. Yeah, Jack's not one to be for granted or forsaken. He can definitely throw down heavy, but again, skating with an injury, it's a big ask. And the pressure's on. These guys are playing for keeps today. At the end of the third run, we're going to be handing out gold, silver, bronze medals. Yeah, and there's going to be a whole lot of prizes to go out with it. And in the opens of women's later, a fast stack of cash. 
Judges just locking in their score for Jack. We're going to get our next skater out there. That's Tasman Cahill. Currently in third place all the way from Ballina. Starting off on that big set. A massive oh, lip slide on the way down. Love to see it. Real tricks. Linking into a backside board slide. And switching it up to the front side. And doing it effortlessly. Just missing out on that flip. It's the commentator's curse. It's back once again. Nice. That was a backside blunt from the bump to bar. He's still got seconds out there. About 15 and counting down. See the way that back truck just locks on the ledge? It's fully just set up, ready to pop back out. That sound, when that hits, is so sweet. It is the ecstasy to my ears. We've got five seconds left in this run. Coming down to the Y. Went big for that front side lip slide. Not quite locking on. Timing out his run there. He's shown that he's a contender still on the podium as we speak in third spot. It'll be interesting to see how they score that second run, but still has one more up his sleeve. Exactly right. And we've got one skater left in this heat. That is Bodie Smith, the trendsetter, the speed dealer bandit. What are we looking for here? He's currently in the lead uh, in gold medal position. Is this just let it rip now? Go, this is, go this, for broke? This is definitely the upgrade run where he's going to really try and assert himself and get a bit more separation on that leaderboard. Currently in a good spot, but you can never be too safe because you don't know what's going to happen after your run. Again, we're seeing using every single piece of this street circuit here. What would you be expecting to see with 20 seconds to go? I think he's going to run back up on top of the set. If I'm going to make bets and try and take a big one back down it, he's got 15 seconds with plenty of time. If he lands this, this could be his run one score. This could be the one. Witness him. Going for the rail, but just gets snapped off. He's got five seconds left. He's probably going to call that run there without having the time to go back for more, but another run coming up soon from Bodie. He is exciting. This kid won the under-12s last year. He stepped up into the under-15s this year. He means business currently in first spot. He's going to take some catching. It's becoming a bit of an unspoken tradition. If you take out gold in your division, you've got to step up. Could we see Opens next year? You know, I think you'd be ready for it. I know there's a few on the socials that need to start skating in the men's. We've got the championship rounds coming up. The third run ready to go. We've got Yo from the Gold Coast ready to come in, looking to get himself into one of those top three positions. Yo starting it off with that Ollie into the guilty bank, lining up that speed for a 360 flip butt slide. I don't know, that might be a competition make. And that's what we're looking at now. This is the championship run. Yo knows that he has to go big if he wants to climb up that leaderboard. You've got to take those risks. You said it. Yo knows. He's a man of wisdom. He knows exactly what he's doing out here in competition skateboarding. That back feeds just getting away from him. A little bit grippy, hanging too heavy on that front foot. He's still got 15 seconds out there. Yo now, run number three. Tech seconds to go. This is where you just let it all hang out. Yeah, let's go for a break. He's on top of the set with five seconds. He's going he to have to move. He's going to have to hustle hard. Counting down on two. And that Ollie was outside time. He did not pop before the buzzer, but a solid effort out there from Yo Wooty. We saw that there, that 45 seconds. If you want to finish back off those stairs, you need to time your run perfectly to make sure you've got those extra seconds up your sleeve so you can pull off that last big trick. Talking about timing run perfectly, we've got Johnny Hill coming in with 45 seconds of power. So good in run number one was Johnny. Went after the lead from Bodie in run two. This is his championship round. If he pieces this together for 45 seconds, Bodie's score could be in some serious danger. Bodie started off with the backside tail slide straight into a back lip. Both of these very valid tricks. That's a big spin and on flat. He's just stacking them up as fast as he can because he knows you've got to get the tricks in if you want to get that score. He is doing his best to impress our three judges. They have a mammoth task in front of them. He's going up top. This could be huge. He just had a switch flip in there as well. I think that was our first switch flip of this competition this afternoon. Back to the set, on the rail with 10 seconds left. Still time to get another trick up his sleeve. Just missing out on that lip slide. That was definitely a solid run. And timing out there for Johnny Hill. He has to be happy with the way he's performed today. The pressure was on. He answered the call. Three really solid runs. We've said you take your best score to the podium of your three runs. If it's better than 58.65 for Johnny, that's what he'll be taking to the judges. Yeah, I've just got to turn a blind eye to this scoreboard at the moment. It's too hairy for me to stare at. Alistair Slizz is our next getter up. 
Ali's coming down on that big set. Nice. Ollie stomps it out to start. He's definitely growing into those legs. He's got a frontside lip slide, backing it up with a backside boardy. Love to see Ali out there hitting all the obstacles. He's got four tricks in on one flow down the park. That's what it's about, using all those obstacles on your way through. And we've seen this before now. If you make your way down to one end of the park, you have the chance to get to the other and finish off those stairs and go for that one last big trick to impress the judges. That's it. With 15 seconds left, Ali has the world at his feet. It's really well designed, this sugar bowl, because you can flow from one end to the other and back and have time to get back on that set. So many possibilities for how you stack your runs up. Five seconds. Yeah, that'll do it for... Ali, that's a good way to finish. Yeah, that was a solid. That kick flip backside 50-50 right on the buzzer. We'll count inside Ali's run. A strong ending for Ali out there. Taj Wolferton is next onto this street circuit, currently in fourth place. But we've seen it before. He can piece together his run. If he can put together this 45 seconds, he's capable of climbing up that leaderboard. But one mistake, and it can be all over. Yeah, it can happen real quick. Taj coming in from the lower end of the park. He's dropping in off your bucket. Yeah, what a way to start there by Taj. Let's get this. 45 seconds on the clock in the championship round. He started strongly. The clock's ticking and Taj is making the most of it. But this is where it's at. This is our third and final run in our three 45 second run final. Coming down to the wire with Taj out here putting together a solid run. This amps up for our riders, and you can feel that air of anticipation in the air as well from our crowd. Everyone's holding their breath to see who is going to climb that leaderboard and finish on that podium. And Taj, with 10 seconds left, might be finding his way onto the podium. Looking really good with this run. This is a sweet run. What are you looking for with five seconds to go from Taj to finish this off and put the exclamation mark on it? He's going to have to get it quick because those seconds are counting down so fast. Sadly, that timer has buzzed out just before he made it back up to that Euro. Passing up so many obstacles on the way, but a really good run. He did save his best till last, our judges. Let's see where that's placed. I think he was holding out with us on that bucket. We could have hit that all day. The bucket bonus is what I'm calling for. I can't see it ever being brought in as a rule, but it, it's sweet to watch. If I was a judge, there would be bonus points involved. The golden bucket, straight to first place. Let's get that next getter out there. We're looking for Jack Meek. Yeah, Jack currently looking to climb his way up onto that podium. He's been solid in his three runs as well, but the competition is that tight that nothing but the absolute best is going to be suffice. Yeah, exactly right. We've already got a fair bit of our space up there on the leaderboard. Bodie Smith currently sitting in first place with 65. I don't think it's too big of an ask for someone to knock him out. They've just got to get these runs together with their best tricks. 20 seconds to go. For Jack in his run number three. Just missing out on that tray flip. Trying to go from the bank to bank with a quick tray between. You've got to have those fast feet. He's got 10 seconds if he wants to use it, but might walk this run out. Yeah, he's yes. calling that one. Got to cut that off. Jack Meek, everyone. And this is what we're talking about now. These guys are competing against each other. Jack went big, didn't come off, but his mates all there to give him a high five. Dust yourself off. Be proud of your efforts here this weekend. Nothing but slap and tap city round here. We've got three skaters left. Jack Lewis coming in. Jack starting down the Euro into the guilty bank and boosting that ollie from the kicker over the flat bar. Linking it straight into that down rail and up onto the next ledge. Jack smooth to start with here. He's a smooth operator. He's been skating for many years and many competitions, dipping that back smith from the bump to bar. And a nice kick flip, backing it all up. He's finding that flow. And the judge is liking this, mixing it up, using every obstacle that he has. And there we have it. Very nearly had that front blunt, just landed a little heavy on the front foot. You can see how he nearly nose manualed out of it. Five seconds left. This is what we like to see. Finishing big. That timer has clocked out for Jack. He's probably going to pull his run up there and not blow out that purple ankle of his. But it ain't over till it's over. We've still got two skaters left in this heat. 
This is a straight final 15 and under males. We've been building up to this all week. Tasman currently in third spot. So he's got his way onto the podium. Now it just it's what colour medal he's going to be taking home with him. This is the go for broke moment. Let's get him in there, Tasman. He's going bigs. Yeah, straight down that nine. Just getting hung up on that front side lip slide. It's a big ass to come straight out of the gate, down the nine, and then do a whole run on the back side of it. He's going to recover. He'll bring it back. I cursed him. That was me. My mistake. How tough are these guys we're seeing this weekend? We've seen skaters coming off their boards. They just dust themselves off. They just keep going. Resilience is forcibly bred into skateboarders. If you want to make it, you've got to just pick yourself up off the sidewalk, pick off your scabs and keep going. This is just fun now, this last 15 seconds. Here for Tasman, knows he's walking away with a bronze medal. Yeah, yeah the crowd stopping, giving yeah. him some love and well deserved. Love to hear that support from the crowd with these young men out there putting their bodies on the line. We've got one skater left and this might be a victory lap for Bodie Smith. I can't wait to see with the pressure off what we're going to see from Bodie here. Yeah, he doesn't have to hold back, he can just go ham. This is absolutely amazing. We had Bodie, a gold medal in the under 12s last year. This is his victory lap, the gold medal in the 15s this year. And he has been so consistent this afternoon. And I love to see it. He's not even holding back on this lap. He's out there throwing down the tricks again with nothing to prove, but just having a good time. And how's this impressing the judges? Just owning your 45 seconds. Absolutely. This is giving him a complete bragging right, saying, I didn't just win first place. I earned first place. Oh, this is what we love to see. 15 seconds to go. Going up top and finishing big. The crowd will go absolutely wild if he lands this. Yeah, it's just like that. Pitch a perfect ending there for Bodie. Oh, yeah. this is a victory lap with an exclamation mark put on top of it. What a run and finishing with the bucket. You can't ask much more than that. The clock is definitely stopped on Bodie Smith, but he's just firing it out anyway, doing it for the crowd. That's it for our 15 and under male final, putting it down right here at the Sugar Bowl. He is pumped and so he should be. Coming up next, we're going to get our women's out there to warm up. In our women's final, we have Tania Myers, Blaze Harmer, Elena Bruno, Megan Bish, Tora Waldron, Haley Powell, Felicity Turner, and Chloe Cavell. We'll get our women out there for a warm up before we get into their finals. The 2022 Rumble on the Reef. We're doing it live this afternoon from the Sugar Bowl in Mackay. Our open women's bowl, uh, sorry, street, coming up next. Women, just so you're aware, your format will be two 45 second runs with five best trick attempts. Your top three scores count. Everybody makes mistakes, sometimes big, sometimes small. It can be hard to admit when you've made a mistake. You might feel upset or worried about what people might think. 
but we can learn from our mistakes and see them as a chance to learn and improve. Think about how it happened. Maybe you just need a little practice, or maybe you just need someone to talk to. Kids Helpline is here for you, anytime, any reason. Call 1-800-55-1800 or visit kidshelpline.com.au. Are you scared of being at home? Are your family hurting you or each other? Your home should always be a place where you feel safe and nothing that makes you feel bad should ever be kept secret. If you need help, talk to an adult you trust. And if you're too scared or worried they won't believe you, Kids Helpline is always here for you because everyone deserves to be safe, especially you. Call 1-800-55-1800 or visit kidshelpline.com.au. At CQ Uni, we believe change is something that should start at home. We see our communities growing healthier by training professionals here in our regions. We see our producers benefiting when we share knowledge, technology and ideas. We see opportunities to nurture our environment and support industries. By finding more ways to make where we live better, we could just make a world of impact. Join us at CQ University today. Takes a lot of hard work and a few rocks in your boots, but this is the way we like it. Field Mining Services Group, more than a job, it's a lifestyle. So I'm hanging out here at the Sugar Bowl with Bodie. Bodie, I've got a couple of questions I want to ask you after you threw down that run. How did it feel to do the victory lap? It felt amazing and it felt good to get all those tricks down and get them all first try. Yeah, it was definitely sick. You had so much confidence when you're rolling through. What's your thoughts out here on the Sugar Bowl? How's it for a facility? It's a very good park, very good to practice on. A lot of good stuff, a lot of big stuff and just a massive vibe. I love it, dude. What's, What's your uh, favourite pair of speed dealers to be wearing? Your sunnies, dude. Every competition, you're always rocking a set. Oh, yeah. Favourite brand? I don't really have a brand. They're All just the same them. colour. <laughs> Who do you want to see skate out here at the Sugar Bowl coming up this afternoon? Oh, I love to see the Opens skate. All the Opens just kill it at this park. Yeah, just everyone. Yeah, 100% here for the whole crowd. Yeah. My dude, you crushed it. Good to see you skate. Thank you.
everybody makes mistakes, sometimes big, sometimes small. It can be hard to admit when you've made a mistake. You might feel upset or worried about what people might think, but we can learn from our mistakes and see them as a chance to learn and improve. Think about how it happened. Maybe you just need a little practice, or maybe you just need someone to talk to. Kids Helpline is here for you, anytime, any reason. Call 1-800-55-1800 or visit kidshelpline.com.au. Are you scared of being at home? Are your family hurting you or each other? Your home should always be a place where you feel safe and nothing that makes you feel bad should ever be kept secret. If you need help, talk to an adult you trust. And if you're too scared or worried they won't believe you, Kids Helpline is always here for you because everyone deserves to be safe, especially you. Call 1-800-55-1800 or visit kidshelpline.com.au. At CQ Uni, we believe change is something that should start at home. We see our communities growing healthier by training professionals here in our regions. We see our producers benefiting when we share knowledge, technology and ideas. We see opportunities to nurture our environment and support industries. By finding more ways to make where we live better, we could just make a world of impact. Join us at CQ University today. Takes a lot of hard work and a few rocks in your boots, but this is the way we like it. Field Mining Services Group, more than a job, it's a lifestyle. The 2020 Rumble on the Reef. We're live from the Sugar Bowl in Mackay. Our 15 boys have just been handed their medals. We're going to see from them shortly. We've currently got our open women's out on course warming up. We're going to see a bit of a change in format when it comes to scoring, Theo, with our open women's. How does this run through? All right, so we're changing it up to the 2-5-3 format. So they get two 45-second runs, five attempts at throwing down best tricks, but only their top three, three scores, scores count. count. So that sort of changes up the strategy out here. You've got two runs, 45 seconds, lock the scores on the board, but then you get five shots at best trick, and that's where the upgrades are going to happen. You can lock in three scores to count towards making onto that podium. If you don't miss out on your runs, you can pick up extra scores in your best trick, you can focus on the best trick, or really hone in on the runs. It all comes down to strategy now. This is where we're going to see uh, some big risk, high risk, high reward mentality this afternoon. Yeah, it's definitely not over till that last best trick goes down. Anything can change in the leaderboard now with seven attempts total at getting scores on the board, but only three count. Anything can happen. Our boys celebrating tonight, our 15 boys. That competition this afternoon was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, it was insane to see. It's good to see Tasman Cahill taking out third place, Johnny Hill in second, and Bodie Smith, the top dog of the day, with that gold medal. So good to see. And we're talking about it then. These boys were throwing down hard against each other, competing against each other. Everyone wants to win that gold medal. But I love the sportsmanship that we're seeing this weekend and across every skating competition. Yeah, there's definitely no, no love lost, no matter who ends up on the podium. You're really battling yourself out there, but it's nice to take home the gold at the end of the day. Our women's warm-up is just about wrapping up. We're going to get our ladies into position now and get ready for their competition. Two 45-second runs. Then we've got the best trick. Your best three scores is what you're taking to the podium with you. 
It is it's going to be insane. Yeah, it's going to come down to the wire on this one. And we've got Tanaya Myers, going to be our first getter up out there. These girls, these women, are just going to clear out the skate park. We're getting ready to launch off into their first runs. Tanaya skated the ball yesterday. She got gold. I wonder if she's going to repeat it out here in the street course. I cannot wait for it. Turn the TV up. Make sure the popcorn's out of the microwave because we're coming back next with the women's opens. Skate edition from the 2022 Rumble on the Reef here in Mackay.